Here is the coconut that we are going to shoot. We're going to test its strength with both melee weapons and projectiles. Right here is the wound. Um, and I think it went through over here. So it's kind of wet. Yeah. So the coconut is not going to be that good against a gun. Now we're going to test if it's going to be good against melee weapons. Go child, go. Here you have it. Um. All right, so here, here you see, um, should be right around here. This is the hole that the pellet gun made. I'm putting the light right there. Um, so wood is not bulletproof. Nice. So here, here we see the amount of damage that the tomahawk did to the wood. Now, I'm no expert, but I think that uh, if you were wearing a vest made out of wood, um, you, you would be probably dead, so yeah. I mean, number one, don't get in a fight with a guy with a tomahawk. All right, now, another very usable material would be plastic. And there wasn't that much plastic that we could use, so we had to settle for a little G.I. Joe. So here's the wood. In front you can see the bullet went in and didn't go very far. Now, when we tested the wood last time, it went all the way through. But the wood was, first of all, a different mixture, and it was uh, a lot thinner. So if we fill a vest with something like this, it might actually be able to stop something. Let's go test it out with melee weapons. All right, here we have Elisha. He's going to be testing with the melee weapon. Go. Um, to give the wood credit, you know, it lasted pretty long against Elisha's crazy axe frenzy, and, uh, you know, I have to say, if, if I were, if I were wearing this filled with wood, I probably would be alive for longer than if I wouldn't be wearing anything. The events that you just witnessed were recorded on camera, and in incredibly high definition as well. They were, um for display and happiness issues only. So if you have an issue with firearms and stuff, just calm down, okay, take a chill pill. Um, you know, I just tried testing the strength of materials and, you know, instead of just poking it with my finger, I decided to poke it with a bullet. Um, really, I just wanted to prove, you know, the strength of stuff. I hope I did that. The vest is going to have a volunteer in it next week. So we want to have a material that's really strong when we shoot it and also hit it and, you know, light on fire. So, you know, if the volunteer dies, that's going to be a lot and a lot of legal work. So, yeah, we're hoping to make this vest very strong.